Is it all very fresh for you that five years ago, the big quake? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Even though it's five years, it doesn't <laughs> go away. It's five years now. Yeah. Well, mm. last week sort of reminded us. <laughs> we had one last Sunday. Yeah, yeah, throw you back into it. And one on Thursday night. Fantastic um, memorial service How did you we've find had it? today. Yeah. Um, I found it very moving. And um, it was really sad when the first song came up. It was um, the, the song that was sung, sung by Jasmine. Um, and this is. Um, my sister. This is your sister. Uh, this is my sister. Mm -hmm. This is my mum, uh, Heather Meadows. Heather Meadows. And um, right. this was... Only... She was one who died in the CTV. Yes, and she was visiting her doctor's, um, in the doctor's room at the CTV building. Mm -hmm. And this is all the items that was found at the CTV building site, along with my mum's body. And these were hers? And they, these were a hers. Cell phone, yeah, yeah. Yes, a cell phone. Yes, a purse. Puffer. A, a asthma puffer. Purse. Yes, and uh, a watch. Gosh. And and the certificate of, um, of her um, of uh, being in the um, army. Oh right, uh, a birth certificate and, yes. and a certificate of, from right being yes. a nurse. Okay. Yes, being a nurse, and that's her, that's her as a nurse in the army, and this is just when she was on a farm down south. Wow. Yeah. So um, you've brought those down today. Yes. And do yeah. you do you have that board? Uh, my sister has Your sister has, has the board. Yes. With um, all those items. It's all framed up. Really. Yeah. yeah um, from uh, just my partner Caroline anyway. Oh, hello. Um, yeah, so um, it was very moving, it was very touching and uh, we thank everybody um, uh, just who helped out and, and joined in with the, a very special moment today. How did you find it? Lovely, gorgeous, absolutely lovely. Yeah. Did you find it sad or yeah. positive? Uh, no, it was uplifting, it was great bringing my kids back. We left straight after the earthquake. Right. So you were here at the earthquake time? Yeah. Five years ago? Yeah. Okay. But you went away? Yeah. We left straight away. Grabbed the flights and took off. Yeah. Where did you go to? Hamilton. Right. And yeah. you settled up there now? Yeah. Yeah. Came down for the five years. Yeah. Had oh, a lot of friends leave. Have like, you waited until now? Yeah. Yeah. To come back? Yeah. Yeah. This is our big anniversary trip. Yeah. Gosh. Yeah. Wow. How has it been to I'm, see the city again? Uh, blown away fun out, everything's changed, everything's gone, walking around trying to remember places, yeah, it's hard, very, very hard. You wouldn't almost recognise the city? I got lost, how many times? Like a hundred? Five. Five times, there you go, yeah, it's hard. How did you find it today? Somber, um, yeah, I think it was extremely... Um, thoughtful and uh, deep. I enjoyed it. What was the most moving thing today for you in the service? I think the reading of the names and uh, the the effect that it has on individuals and families and, and the community as a whole to realise that there was 150 people lost their lives. Um, you know, it, uh, when it they read out those names? Yes, yeah. yeah. It was... Um, quite heart uh, felt and I think that um, it reminds everybody that uh, we all suffer loss whether it's um, immediate or uh, whether it's as a result of knowing somebody who lost a loved one as well so in those sorts of terms I think that uh, today those names uh, brought it home much more deeply than uh, anything else does. I think for me this week it's just been realising that there were 20 countries, people from 20 countries, which I hadn't actually realised before. Well, almost half there. of those who died were foreigners. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And, and Visitors. obviously because in the, the building that um, had the most fatalities uh, was a school teaching English. And so, yes, I can realise that, but I didn't actually realise that there were so many different countries involved.